at speeds of like 75, 80 mile an hour. <laughs> Apparently I had some uh, pretty bad inside tire wear. I'll have to keep an eye on it. I did bring a... Wow, that thing blew out pretty good. I did bring a full-size spare, but as you can see, it's not a good one. It's all the way past the wear bars, and it's a really old Goodyear tire. You know what they say about Goodyear, you get about one good year out of them. So hopefully it makes me about 160 miles home. Hopefully it gets me about 160 miles home, I should say it that way. Anyway, I need to get this thing off the side of the road, so I better uh, jack it up just a little bit more and bolt this thing on. For all you Subaru fanboys, I don't know if you can see how steep of an incline this is on a really sketchy gravel road. The GPS doesn't even want me to go down it. I don't even know if it goes anywhere. <sighs> Towing a motorcycle behind me. And uh, this thing's just handling it like a champ. You can tell that this road isn't traveled very often. Oh man. I'm trying not to smash my oil pan. Because this stuff, whoa. You hear that? This is jeep type stuff whoa the only thing I'm lacking right now is ground clearance the Audi handles it like a champ look at this whoa oh okay I hope I don't break anything. I can't afford to uh, lose that motorcycle. It's raining and it's getting dark. I'm like uh, 20 miles into the wilderness. Let me show you. nearest nearest highway is forever away all right I gotta get back to this So here I am. I did bring a full size spare. Unfortunately, it's not the perfect size tire, but now I have no spare. So anything happens to any one of these, and this is my spare at that point. So I didn't bring a good jack. I gotta use one of those screw jacks. Luckily I caught it in time, and I have a compressor, I put a pillow over it because I'm at campgrounds, I'm not trying to make too much noise even though it is a quiet compressor, and I prepared ahead, I've got a patch kit, and if I would have driven on this, then it would have worn down this sidewall and made it dangerous, but I don't see any evidence of the sidewall being damaged, I just saw where the air was leaking out of the tire. And this is a good opportunity to show you my airbag suspension. It really helps quite a bit. Look, he was even hitting the bump stop. It helps quite a bit. So I'm going to air it back up. All I have is some brake parts cleaner, but that's going to melt this thing just enough to do the job perfect. It was still leaking with one plug. I actually had to jam two plugs in there 
And now I got to trim all this excess and then there's a little bit of tire bulge excess right here that I got to trim flush the razor blade. Man, I've been doing some gnarly stuff out here on this DRZ 400. Even though it's a big, fat, heavy pig, the only thing I'm missing out here is that ring-ding sound of the two-stroke, the lightweight flickability. But I got the big tank on it, and I'm getting good gas mileage with the four-stroker. Just wanted to stop and show you how awesome some of these trails are. Like I said, I can't show you the real gnarly stuff as I'm whipping through it, but I haven't dropped the bike or got stuck or anything yet. About the most I've had to do is put a foot down here or there. But uh, some of this stuff is extremely gnarly. I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea how to get back to my car. GPS is not working. It's a interesting feeling to just be ripping through uncharted territory with a tank of gas that's depleting every minute and uh, GPS that's not working. We'll figure it out. I only have about 20% left on battery as well, but I'll go ahead and give you a little sample on this easy section. There's a bunch of these areas with the, the puddles. This one's not bad at all. But some of those deep puddle sections you can't really go around too well you can go around it as much as you can this one might be a good example maybe not murky and nasty I just did that one with one hand same here you gotta do the little dip and avoid see this area right here is a really easy section that's why I can do it with one hand. We'll see if anything interesting comes up before I have to shut the battery down to save it for other purposes. Whoa, look at that big spider web. Yeah, you can go through all the spider web. You just deal with it. If a spider lands on your face, you just brush it off. Whoa. I did that with one hand and that was pretty impressive. Thread of the needle. trying to reclaim this building right here who knows what it was of course since this is in the middle of nowhere in the country there's not graffiti all over it in fact I don't see a single stitch of graffiti anywhere Oh, there's the graffiti. Interesting view.
big building. Yeah, I think it was a school. Someone's in there. It's got a basement. Didn't go nowhere. Yeah, that was good enough. Neptown Tuner here. I just got done doing at least a 2200 mile round trip. I just did an engine in uh, Massachusetts out by the ocean on the coast. And uh, before I got there, someone hit me up on email and they had a turbo out in Connecticut. And I picked this sweet piece up at the very end of Long Island in between those two jobs. Long Island, New York. So, I went all over the place and I just kind of wanted to show you not only the bike sitting on the car, but the car is completely full of tools and the engine hoist is inside there and all kinds of stuff. It's a little bit of a mess right now because I threw everything back in there after the job. <clears throat> Still plenty of suspension travel, believe it or not. This thing handled surprisingly well that bike doesn't actually weigh that much probably about 250 pounds but let me know if you want any more information about this absolute beast of a bike the street legal kx500 supermoto on the versa hauler transporting bikes on these Audis a lot more just because it's really convenient I use this thing as my pickup truck I also tow that trailer with it I also tow cars with it I pulled that Audi back with this little sedan right here on that custom bumper hitch right there so if you want to schedule some uh, piston work, some timing chain work, turbo, whatever.